Hi everyone, I was just going to ask the question on how to have uh, display some choices in your choice control but have a value behind the scenes. So let me explain that. I've got a choice control here and it's got option one, two, and three. Now the customer wants to say, well, option one is worth one and option two is worth two and option three is worth three. So what you can do is you can actually use the pipe symbol. So you can say that is worth one, that is worth two, and that is worth three. Now, what does that actually mean? So if I put a label on here and I insert the control onto the label, so form controls, insert our choice control, what happens is it won't actually show the displayed choice. It'll actually show the piped value that I showed before. It'll actually show one, two, or three. So to prove that, we'll come to preview, option one, two, or three. Now, why would someone want that? Now, I'm assuming that this customer was probably building something like a... Um, a survey tool or something like that and trying to get an overall um, score on something. So we've got these two together. And so what they could probably do is, I um, might just delete this uh, control here. And you come to variables and you could say something like, well, I'm going to make a uh, integer. We're going to call it total. And we're going to say, um, the trick here is a choice control output is going to be text. So first thing you need to do is to convert to number and then you put in your choice control single and you say plus and convert to number. Actually what we might do is put a carriage return there, convert to number, just makes it a bit easier to read basically. Uh, choice control copy. So I haven't named my controls very well, but you get the idea. So we go ahead and create that, that calculation. We go to total and we come down to here and go insert, uh, insert the total and it's zero. So one and one is now two two and two is four and so on and so forth. So you could have um, a 10 question survey and you might just want to understand, well, their rating on your service or whatever it might've been, might've been low, medium or high. So between one and four might be low and so on and so forth. So that's how you can do that. Now you're probably looking at it saying, well, I don't really like it when it actually shows zero when it's first being loaded. So you can actually get around that as well. So you could actually just hide your label completely until you've made a choice. So you could do something like uh, visible. So it's either visible, yes or no. Now you could go insert and you could probably, uh, let's go to our variable and copy our calculation here because we might need this. So how do we go about hiding this label if the value is zero? So there's two ways I usually talk about in my videos. One being a rule. So you might say um, hide, the, hide the label. Now, you could say if choice one, um, uh, now let's think about this. It's going to be insert and we put the value in here, go insert is uh, not equal to zero. Then the label uh, is visible is true. Otherwise label one visible is no. So go ahead and create the rule. So basically we're checking to see if our calculation is zero so if it doesn't equal zero, well, actually we could do it the other way. We could say if the calculation equals zero, makes it a bit easier to read, then the label is hidden, uh, visible is no. Otherwise the label visible is yes. So we heard and create that rule. I hope that made sense to people. So now we don't see the label until we actually start making some choices. Now the other way you could do this rather than doing a rule, and this is completely up to you, it's either or, um, you could actually put it on the control itself. So you've got the visible option here. So visible, yes, no, or you can insert a condition here. So we could also put our condition here. So um, what we're doing is we're, we're looking for something that's a Boolean. So if um, uh, equals zero, then that would mean um, it's going to return true if nothing's been selected. So true means visible. So what we want is not equal to zero. So if the calculation of this is not equal to zero, then um, the response is going to be yes, and the yes is going to go into the visible property. So let's go ahead and insert that. And I know that's kind of tough to get your head around, but um, now we can see the same thing happening here. So the rule is gone. It's only based on our little condition in here, which is the visible. So as I said before, the visible property is expecting a yes, no. So what we're doing in here is we're saying, well, go and do this calculation we, we, we were doing before. And if it's not zero, then uh, it, the re response is true. So that's how you could do that. Now, you might be wondering, can I do this in the choice multiple? Now that's an, another interesting um, 
thing you can do. Let's copy out our choices from here. Let's go to choice multiple. So we've got option one, two, and three. Same thing applies. The difference here is um, choice multiple is not is no longer a string. So if I select that, it's option one, or now one, but it's always going to out output a string. However, this uh, choice multiple can be option one, option one and option two, or option one and two and three, what we call a collection. It's it's an array, if you, if you know it that way. So representing that is a little bit different. So if I was to come to here, and if I go insert uh, the form controls, it won't let me insert because it's a collection. It doesn't know what to do with the collection. So we have to tell the label what to do with the collection. So we come to variables again, we go add, and we'll just call this uh, multi, uh, just for something quick and easy. And we will see, you can say convert to string and you can put your collection inside there. So um, what did I call it? Multiple choice. So now we can convert that to, to multiple choice. We go ahead and create and go back to preview. Uh, and I forgot to put my multi-choice into the label. So we need to put this in here and insert. We can get rid of the, um, so we've got our title multiple. Now we're not gonna hide it at the moment. We're just gonna clear that. We'll say the visible is always yes. Now we'll come back to preview, one and one, right? Option one, two, and three. So now you can see that's what a collection looks like. But look, and the long and the short of it is that yes, you can still output those numbers. I've selected option one, but it's actually the data behind the scenes, which is one. So that's how you can show something to the user, but actually have something slightly different behind the scenes. So I hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.